Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you kind of what I eat in a day as well as a full crock pot recipe. It's one of my favorite recipes. It's a white chicken chili that is literally just dump everything into the crock pot and let it cook. That's like my favorite kind of meal, especially as a busy mom. So as well as what I eat in a day, I'm going to be showing you what I bring to work with me on nights that I work. I just worked last night, overnight, and um, today is Labor Day, so it was my holiday yesterday. Usually I don't work on Sundays, but I'm going to be showing you my awesome lunch box that I use, and yeah, it's called a Typhon, and it's really, really cool. It either keeps everything completely hot, like for example, if I were to bring that crock pot meal to work with me, I could just put it in here, not have a refrigerator or anything. It's kind of like a thermos for your food, but in this video, I'm showing you what I took to work with me, which were all cold items. So the same thing, it will keep everything cold. So this thing is really cool, especially if you're a nurse and work overnight and forget to take your lunch box out of your work bag half the time. So if you're interested, keep on watching. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. So for breakfast, I'm having avocado toast on glutino, gluten-free English muffin with Trader Joe's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. For lunch, I'm having my mango coconut chicken. I have the recipe in my previous meal prep video. A little sweet tooth lactation cookie. And now I'm just using my Via Tiffin lunchbox. This lunchbox is amazing. It's super compact, it's BPA free, it's leak proof, and it's stainless steel, nothing harmful. I get hungry on night shifts, but not hungry like I do during the day. I like to pack lighter meals since my body is not used to eating in the middle of the night. So I'm just taking some Chobani and I'm mixing it up. You can take any type of yogurt you'd like. And then I'm taking this crunchy Nature Valley knockoff granola bar from Aldi. And I do use the Nature Valley as well when I have them, but I'm just crunching it up and putting it on the bottom. And then you'll see that I put the yogurt on top and then I put some toppings. You can put whatever toppings you want. Today I'm putting strawberries and sliced almonds on top. And then I'll just let this sit in the fridge. The Nature Valley bars on the bottom get a little bit soggy, but I actually like the texture when everything's mixed together. And next I'm just packing some sliced mangoes. I love this as like a sweet treat in the middle of the night. It helps keep me awake when I'm starting to fade. And then I'll pack some carrots. There's this little divider that comes with the lunchbox. There's actually multiple dividers, but I'm only using one. And I'm gonna put carrots on one side and ranch dressing on the other. I also have this carrying bag for my lunchbox, which also converts into a placemat. I just open it all the way up, but it's super easy to carry into work, as you can see. Now for my white chicken chili, you are going to need some chicken breast, 24 ounces of chicken broth, two cans of these Great Northern Beans, a can of corn, and I'm using a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, but you can just use a can of green chilies if you want a spicier um, chili. And then I'm using cream cheese, some onions and garlic, and then a half teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon cayenne pepper, a half teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cumin, and I will have this recipe linked below that I found on Pinterest just so that you can look it up easier. So I'm using a crock pot liner and then literally just throwing everything in. I'm gonna cook it on high for four hours. You can cook it on low for a longer period of time. And at the end, I'm just shredding it and I'm adding the um, cream cheese and half and half, which I forgot to mention earlier. But like I said, I'll have the recipe linked below.
So after the four hours is up, I'm just adding four ounces of cream cheese and one fourth cup of half and half. And then I'm gonna mix it all up and let it cook for about 15 minutes longer. And after that, I will shred the chicken with pork. And here it is, guys. You can add whatever toppings you'd like. You can add avocado, um, extra cheese, any type of seasoning, cilantro, you name it. This dish is delicious and it's a go-to in our house. So I hope you guys like this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, like cooking related, meal prep, um, meal ideas, any cooking related videos, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to do that. I love cooking. Um, and please, again, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.